New York Country, 1039 KGRT. That's Chase Mitchell for you and Back Road. Gina Waragon hanging out with you on this. Uh, well, what is it? Oh, that's right. It's a Friday and it is time. Time now for the question of the day. Brought to you by Painted Skies Dental Center. Online at PaintedSkiesDental.com. That's right. It is time for our question of the day. And our question of the day uh, goes uh, with the fact of this uh, little story that I just saw. A new survey about half of the Americans hiding out in the bathroom when they need to find peace and quiet. Yeah. Uh, uh, privacy from other members in their household, perhaps. Yeah. And, of course, all this might have been in the past couple of months with friends and family members visiting for the holidays. But uh, that actually uh, leads to my question for today, and that is, do you actually have a place where you go to get a little privacy and a little peace and quiet, you know, a little hiding spot, perhaps? Is it the bathroom? I don't know. That's a pretty good spot. I mean, generally speaking, people leave you alone in there unless you have kids. I, I learned that one. Yeah. And then, of course, uh, there is uh, the idea of maybe a special room, special place that's going to happen like that. I don't know. Is it uh, possible that uh, you have a special place where you are hiding? That is my question of the day. Do you have a special place where you can go and relax? I'm going to tell you this right now. I don't really have a special place because I do live by myself. But when I am around people and sometimes I just want to relax, believe it or not, turn on my microphone, put on my headphones, listen to some good music and pretend that I'm working because when the light is on outside the door, nobody comes in this room. Yeah, I know. It's sneaky, right? Uh, of course, I just told everybody my secrets, so we'll see how it works for the rest of today. But yeah, I don't know. That's where I go, believe it or not. My little room, my little studio right here is a good place for me to go ahead and get some peace and quiet because headphones and a, some great music on just like puts me in that nice, peaceful mood. I don't know. That's what I do. But my question for you is, do you have a hiding place to find peace and quiet and privacy from other members in your household? Like I said, is it the bathroom? Is it the kitchen? Is it your bedroom? Is it the closet that you can hide in and nobody knows where you are at all? Is it your car? I don't know. Let me know your answers to our question of the day. And, of course, you can do so by giving me a call or uh, sending me a uh, text on our Zia Comics hotline or text line. 575-523-KGRT is the number for that. And, of course, uh, you can also uh, leave your comments on our social media pages. Yep. Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter because we are live up on our social media pages right now. Go ahead and uh, let me know the answer to our question of the day, which is, do you have a hiding place to find some peace and quiet and privacy from other members in your household? Let me know your answers to our question of the day. Okay, that is good. That is good. And we are exclusively up on our social media pages, although bear with me for just a moment because I do have to take care of something. That is very weird that I had thought I had taken care of yesterday. So I'm going to double check it and make sure that we are good. Hmm. Yeah, that seems like it's good. Okay. We will. All right. We're good. We're good to go there. Okay. Sorry. Just a little behind-the-scenes stuff that I thought I got something done yesterday, and it kind of just popped up right now. So we're all good right now. But right now, we are into our question of the day, which is basically, do you have a hiding place to uh, find peace and quiet and privacy from other members of your household? Uh, basically, because I saw that survey that apparently a lot of people will hide out in the bathroom when they need to find some peace and quiet. So I thought that was pretty interesting. I know in some places where I went to work, I would um, actually hide out in the bathroom to get away from everybody as well. Uh, that's when you'll find people, you know, in there with their phones. It happens a lot. Let's see. Just got a text message that says, I go to work and work alone in my shop creating. That's my therapy. That's a pretty good therapy right there, actually. That is a pretty good therapy. Like I said, believe it or not, I will go to work. And there are sometimes in the past there are different places and different things that I would do to go ahead and find my peace of mind. Right. Let's see. 
Steph, Steph Mitz says that sometimes my car, that's a pretty good place. That's a pretty good place to go in there in your car as well. Uh, I remember during the pandemic, every once in a while, I would get in my car and turn it on and pretend I was driving somewhere listening to music right there just to get some peace of mind and a little uh, yeah, peace of mind from not the same room for months at a time. Remember that? Yeah, that was scary. Don't ever want to do that again. But yeah, there's different places that people go, different things that people do to go ahead and get their peace of mind. Like I said, the, the day that they allowed me to put headphones on was a big, big deal because uh, for those that don't know, I actually have a hearing problem. I've had it since I was a kid. And they actually told me at one point in time in the 80s with the Walkmans and everything else like that, that I would never be able to wear headphones because it would make my hearing worse. Fast forward, it does, it did, and my hearing's not as good as it used to be, but when they first allowed me to put headphones on, I listened to everything through my headphones, and I learned a long time ago that I, you know, I can turn it up as loud as I want, and it's a very peaceful way to get away from everything, and I think my mom will tell you for years, headphones on my head, people in school will tell you if whenever they saw me in between classes, after school, before school, headphones on my head all the time, and now what do I do for a living? I know, right? Anyway, uh, that is uh, the question of the day. Do you have a hiding place uh, for peace and quiet or to get privacy from other members of your household? Go ahead and let me know those answers. In the meantime, let's take a look at what's going on in and around the world. Saw that Bed and Bath, uh, or excuse me, Bed Bath and Beyond may file for bankruptcy because of declining sales, dwindling cash reserves, and their debt load. Wow. Also saw that a new study by China's uh, Xinhua University reveals that drinking just one soda a day raises the risk of men going bald by up to 60%. So there you go. Another reason to uh, kind of keep uh, the sodas back. Uh, understand that Peeps is planning to celebrate Easter this year with a new a new Peep flavor. I saw a new flavor, actually, but new for Peeps, Dr. Pepper Peeps. Hmm. Okay. I'll be interested in uh, checking that one out. Also saw that Tesla is removing the Sonic the Hedgehog video game from its vehicles. I did not know they had a Sonic the Hedgehog uh, video game in their vehicles, but apparently the company won't say why it's being removed, but drivers will no longer be allowed to play the game on their dashboard. Probably a good thing, especially if you're doing that while you're driving. Uh, Prince Harry is going to be on Stephen Colbert's talk show on Tuesday night. Yay! Yeah. Michael B. Jordan hosting Saturday Night Live this weekend, so that'll be pretty interesting. But yeah, and of course, if you haven't heard the Damar uh, Hamlin update, uh, he is apparently he has woken up. One of the first questions he asked, he has to write him down because he still has a tube for, for his lungs right now to help him out. But he seems to be uh, cognitive and uh, his brain function seems to be okay. And the first question he wrote down was, did we win the game? That, I think, is some good news, and that's always cool to hear there. So... Uh, there you go, a little bit of what is going on in and around the world. And, of course, we are waiting uh, for some more answers to our question of the day. Do you have a hiding place to find peace and quiet and privacy from other members of your household? I saw a survey that said a lot of people head to the bathroom to get that peace and quiet and privacy. And like I said, works pretty good unless you have kids because they don't care about privacy too much that much. I learned that one a long time ago. But do you have maybe another hiding place? Steph said it was in her car, right? I like to just put my headphones on and come here to work, turn the light on, pretend I'm doing work and nobody bothers me. That helps me relax more than I think. I probably end up spending more time at work just uh, relaxing more than I am working sometimes. Shh, don't tell anybody. And, of course, uh, it is uh, different rooms in your house. Uh, maybe it's a different place that you go to. Maybe it's out on a hike in the middle of nowhere. Uh, where you can go ahead and relax. But do you have a hiding place to find peace and quiet and privacy from other members in your household? Let me know your answers. You can call them in or text them in, 575-523-KGRT. That's 575-523-5478. Uh, like I got a text message that says I go to work, work uh, alone in my shop. That is uh, their therapy, which I think is pretty good. And uh, there are different places that you like to hide out. So go ahead and let me know on our Zia Comics hotline or text line. And, of course, on our social media pages, you can leave your comments throughout the day as well. Our question of the day, do you have a hiding place to find peace and quiet and privacy from other members in your household? Let me know your answers to our question of the day.